So something pretty big just happened in the world of AI and robotics, something that could actually change how we interact with machines in the next few years. Hold up, did Google just change the entire AI game and we didn't even see it coming? Yesterday, DeepMind CEO dropped a bombshell. Their new Gemini 2.5 Pro IO edition isn't just another update, it's the coding model to beat. We're talking about a system that's not only taking the crown for the best coding AI out there, but also revolutionized how we build interactive web apps. Here's the kicker, Google wasn't just playing catch up. They've leaped frog competitors like Anthropic's Claude or even OpenAI's ChatGPT. So why does this matter? What happens when Google, once an afterthought in AI, is now leading the charge? Stick around because this could reshape everything we know about AI development. If you like this video and think we provide value, please smash that subscribe button and watch the video till the end. Google just shook up the AI world again with a new model. Here's why this could be more important than it seems at first. Yesterday, Demis Asabis, CEO of Google DeepMind, shared a tweet. He was excited to introduce their best coding model yet. They are launching Gemini 2.5 Pro IO Edition, which has huge improvements in coding. It's now number one on LMA for coding and tops the web dev arena leaderboard. This announcement surprised many. It's only the second big update from Google that truly changes things. It's also the first time I've seen a company clearly target a specific use case like coding. Google's focus here shifts what tools people will choose, and that will impact the market a lot. I'll explain more on that later. The tweet said the new model is especially good for building web apps. A demo showed how it can help with quick prototyping. You can sketch a basic idea or design for an app. Then, using Gemini's multimodal features, you open the canvas and ask it to write the code. You get a working prototype almost instantly. This makes it easy to test ideas and see if they have potential. It's clear this is the direction development is moving. Faster, simpler prototyping that helps decide if ideas can succeed. What really caught attention is Gemini 2.5 Pro's top rank in overall web development. It beat Claude 3.7 Sonic on the leaderboards. Many people may not see the importance, but over the past weeks, I've seen more and more folks saying that Gemini 2.5 Pro is the best coding model out there. That's a big shift. Getting to number one for coding sounds small, but it's huge because Claude was the top choice for a long time. Their main product was Claude 3.7. People used it mainly because it was the best at coding, despite how expensive it was. It sparked a real focus on the code with the large language models. Many users praised Claude for its coding skills. One said, Claude is so good at coding and reasoning. Am I the only one who thinks it's far better than ChatGPT4? Another added, Claude is way above GPT4 for coding and other tasks. One person even said they spent over 1,000 hours on working with these models last year. Now, the top spot goes to Gemini 2.5 Pro, shaking up the way coding tools are viewed and used. The reason this really shifts things is because Google now holds the top spot. You might think, of course it changes everything. Google is number one, so people will switch. But it's more than that. Google now has a noticeable lead over Claude 3.7. With Gemini's long context window, many users say they can rewrite small code bases with just one prompt. Most won't stop using Claude altogether, but this update will shake up the AI world. If the next model from Anthropic can't match Gemini 2.5 Pro, they might need to focus elsewhere. What's wild is that this move also threatens ChatGPT. Google Gemini 2.5 Pro is number one in every category. People used to turn to ChatGPT because they believed it was running the best models like GPT-3, GPT-4, or GPT-4.0. Now, Gemini 2.5 Pro's top score suggests that they are making big progress. What's surprising is that this isn't the first time Google has done this. Before, they led with models like Gemini V2 and other tech like video models that are now far ahead of Sora. Now, with Gemini 2.5 Pro preview, Google has hit number one again. Right now, the top AI models are Gemini 2.5 Pro versions. That's a huge shift. Just six to eight months ago, few would even try a Google product. That's why this feels so important. What if OpenAI and Anthropic can't keep up anymore? Google doesn't seem to be slowing down. The new model is called the IO model, named after Google's big developer event. They launch it right before Google IO, when they reveal new tools and tech. That event helps developers learn about Google's tools and improve their apps. It's also a chance for Google to show off their latest AI updates. Releasing this model just before the event shows Google is pushing hard to lead in AI. If this trend stays the same for next year, Google will likely keep its top spots in frontier intelligence. Since they're building many B2B products, this could shift how others approach AI. OpenAI has already shifted focus away from frontier AI towards user experience. They now put more effort into making products easy to use rather than just pushing better models for benchmarks. Many companies will follow this trend because pushing models like GPT-3 and GPT-4 for more intelligence is hitting a limit. The gains are small, and most users don't even notice the difference in their daily use. 
most aren't asking complex or PhD level questions at the rate many expert. Mass adoption of AI depends on appealing to everyday users. The real push happens when a fun or trendy AI feature goes viral, like Ghibli images. That brought millions of people to OpenAI. Other companies will likely focus on similar popular features if they can't compete with frontiers like Google's. On the benchmark front, some say Google failed, but I disagree. The latest version, the 2.5 Pro Preview, shows a clear improvement in many areas. For example, it's about 5-6% better at code generation. That shows Google is working on specific parts to stay ahead. They are not just making big jumps, but improving focus skills. Google is working on Claude 4, expected soon. Still, their speed of update is quick. I wonder if Anthropic can catch up with a stronger model. These benchmarks reveal this model's main focus is coding. I'm curious about how Anthropic will respond if Google starts taking more market share. The AI race is moving so fast. With Google releasing an impressive coding model, I wonder what's next. I'll soon share tutorials on making interactive AI apps and demos. This big leap hints at what's coming. Expect more fierce competition in AI soon. What do you think? Do you use Google products daily, or do you see this as just trying to beat benchmarks? I use Google Gemini regularly, and I find it great for long texts. It really shines there. For coding, many say Gemini 2.5 Pro is the best they've seen.